All right, so this is part two of the customization options for the minimap asset. So in the first video, I went through just the options, um, of the variables that you can play around with for the minimap icons and the minimap. So in this video, I'm gonna go through um, the blueprint options available as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this, uh, this yellow NPC. So if I run the game, you see that he has a exclamation mark icon um, above his head. So if we look at this, uh, this, this guy's blueprint, you'll see that on begin play, um, I'm just going to remove all this stuff. So this is, uh, part of the asset. So if you want to see how I've done some of the things, you can obviously just open the, um, you can open the blueprints yourself and have a look. But for now, I'm just going to delete all this. Um, actually I'll keep the, I'll keep the trigger um but i'll just delete these so that we can sort of take i can take you through it step by step so on begin play um i don't actually know what it's going to do if i just play it because i've just okay so it's still, it's still got the exclamation mark because that's it's, that's how it's set up so if we look at the component uh yes it has an exclamation mark it's um animated to scale and then it has in what icon and it has a up down animation okay cool so um so let's say we want the icons to be uh not shown so on start because maybe this npc doesn't have a quest until something happens later um and let's say later you know you you, you you talk to someone else and then they tell you to come to this guy and then now you want this guy to um, to show his quest icon. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a delay at the start. So this is just to simulate, um, you know, this is just to show you that at the start he's not actually going to be showing any icon. Um, and then what you can do is you can grab the component minimap. So all the functions come off this component, which we, which we have been looking at. So you drag that into the level. And then if we just, uh, if you go to the call function um, category, you see all these functions that you can call. So we are going to um, set state and we are going to show. Because by default, we have set it to, um, to not show. Oh, we also want to, uh, disable that as well okay sorry if you sorry if you disable that it should disable this by default so we don't have to disable that separately um so if we go back to this blueprint so after two seconds it's going to turn um the minimap icons on right so again um, obviously you're not going to do it on the timer maybe you talk to another npc and then that npc tells you to go to this npc and then that's when you can use this to to set the icon to show right um and then like let's say you talk to this npc and then he tells you to go to see another npc so then this npc is no longer um part of the quest chain um you can hide it again if you don't need to talk if you don't need him if you don't need to talk to him again, you want to destroy it forever. Um, that that just sort of frees up some memory. But if you have to come back to him, you'll you want to hide it temporarily in anticipation of it turning back on again. So what it's going to do is it's going to be invisible at the start, um, and then turn on for two seconds, and then it's going to turn off again. Oh, we want to make sure that this actually has a target. And then turn off right um and then maybe like you know you talk to another npc and then um let's say you talk to another npc and then for some reason uh this guy becomes a vendor so let, let's let's turn it back on and then we're going to also um look at the functions we're going to set the image Um, and let's set this to, let's go to our, our icons folder. Um, let's say at some point he becomes a, uh, 
becomes an armor. He becomes like an armor, um, an armor bender. So that's going to turn on, and then it's going to turn off, and then it's going to turn on with um with an armor icon. Now we want to set the inward icon as well. So set the inward image. Uh, we are going to use the big one for the inward image. Um, and let's change the tint as well. So basically all the options that you have here, you can change in runtime with functions. That, that That's essentially what the minimap icon blueprint functionality gives you. So let's um, let's grab this and let's oh so we can set the minimap tint and the inward icon tint as well they are separate images uh, and let's set those to like maybe pink so what it's going to do now is that when the game starts um, there's no there's no icon and then it turns on and then it turns off and then it's going to turn back on but it's no longer a quest icon it's going to be a uh, armor vendor icon turn off and then turn back on and you'll see that in the um, minimap it's an it's an armor icon and above his head it's an armor icon as well so those are the uh, blueprint functionalities that you have that that's exactly how i do these chests um, so if you look at this uh, this chest blueprint, so you can see that there's a trigger in front of it. Um, so all I'm doing is by default when it starts, uh, the icon is enabled. It's got a chest for the minimap. It's got a chest for the inworld. Inworld is enabled. It's got some animation set on it. But all I do is that when I touch it, um, when I touch the trigger, I just make sure that I'm a player. If I am, I'm this function just plays an animation of, of the chest lid opening and then all I'm doing is well, I'll turn off the collision so you can't interact with the chest again and then you can see that I'm calling the minimap icon and I'm telling it to destroy forever right because I'm assuming that once you open a chest that's it um, you can't touch that chest or interact with it again so I destroy the icon forever so if I run the game I touch the chest it will open the lid and destroy that uh, icon forever it's now gone from in world it's gone from the minimap as well um, and if I um, if I just uh, I don't think I can revert all this but if we look at the NPC when he had the exclamation mark above him um, it uses the same logic when I touch him um, he will turn to a question mark I see if I can actually undo all this I don't know if I can um, just to show you the logic that was set up just previously, I don't I don't actually know how many uh, undos Unreal keeps in memory. Oh, looks like I might be able to do it. Fantastic. Okay, cool. So, if we look at the original logic for the NPC, you can see that um, on start I have this variable which basically determines whether it should be a question mark on start if not it's the exclamation mark um, if yes then it's going to set it to a question mark and then I have a trigger that detects the player and then if it's the question mark already then I destroy the icons because I assume that you've now finished the quest if it's not the question mark then I just set this function which then just sets the image and the inward, sorry, the um, the minimap and the inward icon to a question mark. So if we run this, you see that it's a um. Oh, let's set, let's let's move the play start point to here. Um. Oh, I think that's because I have changed some settings on this guy as well. Let's look at the uh, yeah. Let's turn that back on. The icons enabled by default. So he has a exclamation mark, um, and then if I touch him, if I sort of move close to him, I'll hit the trigger, 
and that will trigger it to change to the question mark if I exit and go back in it's going to trigger the um, the logic again and this time because it's already a question mark it's going to destroy the minimap icons and the inward icon um, you can see that if I set it to is question mark by default this is just some blueprint logic that I showed you before it's it's question mark by default and then if I if I if I touch him then that mini that um, the icon will disappear so essentially you have options in runtime for doing most of the functionality that you that you can set sort of pre runtime right so um, again if I get this uh, if I drag this in and if you go to the functions you can see all the things that you can do so you can set the state of it again um, you can set to show high temporarily or destroy forever um, and then you can set the scale set the image set the animation type tint offset etc during runtime right um, so that should give you the functionality that you need to, um, to update actors while the game is while the game is running so um, so those are the blueprint functionalities and then um, in the next video I'm going to show you how to set up different zones um, so again you might have like a minimap for this area a minimap for this area or you might have a minimap for this area and then you might have a, a, a smaller minimap inside this area that overlaps it and I'm going to show you how to set those two up in the next video all right thank you